What's the deal, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Honey. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, you guys. Welcome back. It's Monday. Hey, y'all. Welcome back, you guys. I have really, really, really um, missed you guys missed the conversation and i'm gonna flow the conversation out there y'all tell me what y'all think i know y'all gonna think i'm a little bit weird but i just want to talk about it because it's not a lot going on out there i know people want to talk about quincy jones and all that but you know until you can tell me why you want only dated white women <laughs> why you only made babies with white women mm. <laughs> i don't want to hear from you quincy okay you spill your own tea and, of course, the whole Queen's Court scuttle, but I hope they work it out. I've invested enough time and energy into that. But I do want to talk about Madison, T.S. Madison. Now, I um, a lot of people don't know this, but separately, I wasn't a fan of Kaya's or T.S. Madison. It was only until I watched, like, the second or third installment of Queen's Court that I really, really start liking them as a duo as a team i could see the yin and yang of the two of them you know what i mean i could see that maddie was a lot more patient and a lot more amicable i could see that kaya was really a little bit more stuck in her ways and she was a lot more aggressive like verbally aggressive and for a lot of people they would have just turned around and fought kaya but maddie for whatever reason um just just you know she just kind of paced herself you know what i'm saying she just wasn't you know as she she didn't return the same amount of aggression all right so i had seen um of course kaya on on ig you know and i had see, hadn't seen her in a while since the whole um show that she did with monique where monique was was like trying to show them it was charm rap charm school or something like that it was like a play on charm school but it might have been called charm school i can't remember the name of the show but i found her to be abrasive then now um i i didn't have an investment one way or another i knew she was slick at the mouth from charm from this charm school type show right so when I saw her on IG, I would watch for a little while and then, you know, I just moved on. I mean, you know, she can be a little bit, a, a little bit obnoxious. So, you know, separately, I, I, okay, Maddie used to do these little stints in her car where she would talk and she had a friend next to her. And I don't know if that was Miss Eve that she had next to her. Rest in peace to Miss Eve. But anyway, um, but, you know, she wasn't, to me, as polished, and she was a lot more street, like a lot more guttural, you know what I'm saying? It took me a while to get to a place where I could listen to, like, I, I still couldn't. Like I said, I really, really didn't um, have a lot of investment in Maddie until Queen's Court, all right? But I fell in love with Maddie through Queen, Queen's Court, right? I started to go back, watch old videos, like the cooking videos. I started to like her even more. Then she did this stint where she was doing um, interviews in the car and she would pick up different people. And I loved her energy. I loved her energy towards those individuals. She did one where she picked up RuPaul and what's the chick that's best friends with RuPaul? I can't think of her name, but the black hair lady that always judges with him. That was a really, really good interview that she did in the car with her. I liked it. I liked that side of Maddie. It made me want to watch the Queen's Court that much more. Okay, so then after all the scuttlebutt happened, I was still trying to do like a little bit more research about Maddie because I just wanted to get to know her a little bit more. I felt like the way she handled herself, it just, you know, when, when everything that happened with Kaya walking off and stuff, it just made me draw her into my heart a little bit more. So I'm watching this this um, podcast, which I think is called the Read R E I D show. I can't think of the man's first name. Y'all, please don't depend on me right now with this foggy brain. I got so much sinus congestion up in here. 
Don't depend on me for names right now. But y'all know what I'm talking about. It's the R-E-I-D show and it had Maddie on it. Now, she got two people interviewing her. They got two different energies. Um, and she was able to just really walk that line with them and still maintain her own integrity. I liked it. I love the way that she talked so kindly about Miss Eve. I love the way that she talked very openly and very candidly about her own life. And I love the fact that she, you know, is a go-getter. And she, you know, kind of expressed that talking about how she started out, you know, being, um, you know, a lady of the evening as well as doing porn. So I go out and I look at her website. I think it's called Big Bitch, Big Dick Bitch dot com, right? And typically I don't look behind the veil. Typically I do not. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to know what the... Uh, I don't need to know what odds look like. You know what I'm saying? I try not to do that. It's a lot of reasons why I don't watch the unsung and all that. I just want to listen to the music. I don't want to know all that grimy, grimy backstory because I started thinking about things a little bit differently. I started hearing the music a little bit differently. And I felt like it was going to be that way too, but I couldn't resist because I low-key like porn as well. Well, she got a porn website. You know what I'm saying? I think it's strictly all transgender women, right? Um, and she had this whole conversation with the dude on there that, that was calling her. I think they're both gay too, but, um, you know, he said, but you, but you really are a dude. And she was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Evidently it's politically incorrect to call a transgender woman a dude. You call them, I'm a transgender woman, right? So, um, all of this, all of this conversation, her confidence, her history, all of that made me go look at her website. So I go look at her website and she on there, she out there, you know, and um, I was like, what? Listen. You know, I've heard her say several times on... Queen's Court that she got a big a big cock and I was like okay you know like most dudes think they got a big cock I know she's not a dude dude but you know what I'm saying like most people with a penis think their penis is the greatest penis ever right like you as a as a as a straight woman you hear that a lot right so okay so I go out there, I look at it, and I was like, um, okay, so immediately, immediately, I get upset. I'm not upset like mad, I'm upset like emotional, like I'm, I'm, I'm in a whole bunch of different places, because at the face up here, I see the Maddie I love, I see the Maddie that I admire, I see the Maddie I have no beef with, but down here... I don't know that Maddie. I don't know that Maddie. I don't. I do not. And I was completely thrown off. I mean, she does have a very large penis. Okay? Then I felt anger. I got upset. I was mad at her for being transgender. I, you know what I'm saying? I was confused. I, I was confused. I felt like she was confused. Like, I was just, I didn't, I didn't want to deal with Maddie. Like, I needed a minute. You know what I'm saying? But I had to think about that thing. I had to think about that thing because go back to the interview because I'm looking at it on my phone and kind of listening because when they got to the caller part of the show, you could barely hear the callers. And so you had to wait for her to kind of answer and kind of repeat it to know what they were saying. So during that point, I was looking at the website and just kind of listening to the video, right? The podcast. So, um... I don't know. I don't have the same feelings about um uh uh Funky Dineva because I can see Funky Dineva got a mustache and a beard. I don't really feel like he's a woman. You know what I'm saying? As much as he says she and I'm me and you know all of that, I don't feel like he a woman. 
And um, y'all know James Caldwell is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He does a beautiful drag show. He really does. He's a very talented individual. He makes his own jewelry and clothes and all of that. I mean, just a beautiful drag. But, you know, he's a gay male who is a drag queen. He's not in the transgender um, section at all. Right? So, um, I, 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 I can separate him. I even have a different relationship with... Um, um, Milan Treasure than I do with James. You know what I'm saying? I tend to like uh, Milan Treasure a little bit more. Sometimes I get mad at, at, at James Caldwell. Like some of the stuff he say, I be like, no, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Milan, I feel more like, you know what I'm saying? Like I have a completely separate viewpoint of Milan Treasure. It's weird. I know. It's weird. It's weird. I know. Okay, but I'm dealing with all these bevy of emotions. Um, so with T.S. Madison, I I just completely forget, unless she mentions the size of her cock or mentions the fact that she's a trans, I completely forget that she is not actually female. I don't know if it's the titty popping. I don't know if it's the flawless, you know, beat face. I don't know. I don't know if it's the kind. Of, I, I don't know what I... So to see her with a penis... I like I should have never looked at it. I should have never looked at it. Like I said, I was uh, I was a bevy of emotions behind it because and this is my thought process. I think I felt that way because for me, my relationship or, or my viewpoint of Maddie is more of a sister girl. But I felt kind of betrayed that she had a penis. At the same time, I was really attracted to her penis. Like it's a it's a really 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 good penis. Like it looks like it. You know what I'm saying? I love a good penis. Y'all know that I love it. A, a good magnificent penis. The structure of it. The the everything I love about a penis. We have to talk about that on another day. But I think that's why I got mad. I got mad because there's so many women out here that could really appreciate. <laughs> And you out here throwing it away, old, old, old dudes. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't, I couldn't, I, 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 the, the separation between the two was hard for me. But once I was able to kind of reconcile it, first of all, I had to put her penis out of my mind all together for, in order for me to reconcile it. I began to hear her conversation a little bit different, like how she was a, she is able to reconcile that struggle it's not a struggle now i'm sure but coming up how she was able to reconcile that and the fact that she was brought up in the church it's it's really amazing it's really really amazing because gosh how do you you know so much of who we are identity wise is based upon tradition it's based upon um labeling like breasts are for women vaginas are for women penises are for men you know what i'm saying men don't have breasts and men are flat chested uh, men don't wear make you know what i'm saying like these are the these are the traditional labels that we've seen and it takes a lot to get to this place where you are balanced with it you know, which is why you have a lot of women who are cool with their gay friends, but then they still have some residual, um, you know, homophobic terms and ideals in their head because they can't, they can't come to this place, right, with it. So when I began to think of her more as a, an amazing spirit that she was, that she's able to balance this thing i had a i had a just a whole new level of respect for her behind that um but at the same time for me i really really want to express to people who are out there in the lgbt community uh l g l g b t q community okay you know it, you have to have patience with us. You have to have patience with, 
heterosexuals, males, females, your mom, your uncles, your cousins. You have to have patience. It doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem fair because you should be able to do you and be you. But listen, some of this is a lot to wrap your mind around it, especially if you grew up in this really traditional fashion. And um, like I said, I had I, I liked T.S. Madison before I, I had ever seen her penis. But seeing her penis, I was just like, I don't even. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if I if I have expected a, a, a man that became becomes a woman to have a small penis. Like <laughs> it's almost like she didn't deserve a big penis. Like, I don't know. I don't know you but you have to be patient with people because they don't understand they don't understand how you could look so beautiful as a woman but you still have a penis like and a lot of the women on her page some of them do look like transgender to me some of them do still have that boyish look but a lot of them the bulk of them look pretty darn feminine you know what I'm saying like women and that shit plays with your mind. You know what I'm saying? I can't imagine a dude getting up his nerve to approach a woman and then it's you find out as a man, like you're trying to put that stuff together. It would, it, you know what I'm saying? Be patient with us. Please be patient with us because it's a lot of a lot of people out there that love the LGBTQ community, but they still have some unresolved feelings. It's it's their lot to bear. Um, it's their conundrum to work out for sure, but it still requires a measure of patience. I I just begin to think about why am I upset with Maddie? Like, why am I? I because I'm low key attracted to her penis, just her penis, like right here. I want it, Maddie. Like this area here, I want it, Maddie. Just in this area right here, like I felt I felt a sexual attraction to Maddie. But at the same time, you're looking at her with a pink wig. You're like, God, what the? What the? <sighs> it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. That's all I'm saying. Y'all understand what I'm saying. I'm coming to tell y'all because I don't know nobody else I can tell really how I feel about it. If y'all go see the video out there, if y'all go out there to her website, y'all will see what I'm saying. Now, if if it's best for you not to do it, I say don't do it. You know, but if I close my eyes and lean my head to the side, I can still see her penis. But for the most part, I try to put it out of my head because um, it, it confuses me in the way I think about her. And it's something I have to work on little by little by little. But and I'm willing to do that work. But at the same time, I'm admitting it. I'm admitting it. I'm admitting it. Okay, y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all understand what I'm saying. Y'all my honeybees. <laughs> Can you believe this shit? Okay, so that's all I got to say, you guys. Tell me what you think. Put it down <laughs> below. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Hopefully, I will see you guys midways at some point for some reason. Until next time, honeybees. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I